After having some of the worst issues with its motherboards and routers, Asus is now trying to bring new things to the table that we are witnessing for the first time. If you are a fan of neat PC builds that have fewer cables visible inside your chassis, then you might like this new idea. But at the same time, there are some issues that I think might concern some users following the major problems we had with Asus motherboards. So let's take a look at the top stories for today, but before that, make sure to subscribe to the channel to never miss such updates in the future. As reported by WCC FTech, the company showcased their first RTX 4090 GPU with absolutely no external power connector. Instead, the card features an additional slot that connects to the motherboard to fulfill its power requirements. According to the company, this slot is able to deliver up to 600 watts of power and will be only available on a few motherboards. This additional slot is a little bigger than what fits inside a PCI Express X1 connector and its motherboard connector is situated right at the top of the chipset. Now you may be wondering how the motherboard is supplying enough power to the GPU as the card needs at least 450 watts of wattage capacity and there is no way that a motherboard can provide this much wattage through the 24 pin ATX connector. The answer to this lies in the motherboard design. In order to power this GPU, Asus has prepared a special motherboard which is called the Z790 Tough Gaming that boasts all the connectors at the back of the PCB instead of the front. If you remember, Asus was one of the very few AIBs that was first to produce motherboards like this, but unlike the other prototypes, this one is designed keeping in mind that it has to provide sufficient power to the graphics card. Therefore, the motherboard comes with one 12-pin power connector and three traditional 8-pin power connectors to send enough power to the GPU. Now, in one way, I think this is one of the best ways to keep a PC clutter-free, but at the same time, I fear that if the melting problem reaches the 12-pin power connector on the motherboard, then it might damage the motherboard itself. So I think it would be safer to use the three 8-pin power connectors, which will not only power the 4090, but can also power other high-end GPUs, featuring a similar design to this 4090 Megalodon edition. At the moment, we don't know if any company other than ASUS has plans to design such graphics cards and motherboards, but ASUS says that this particular 4090 and Z790 motherboard are going to launch worldwide at the end of this year, unlike the other connectorless motherboards from the company that were limited to China. Talking about melting problem of 12-pin power connectors, looks like MSI might have found a good solution to fix this issue for the most part. As reported by PC World, the company showcased its new 12-pin power connector at Computex that lets the users know if their power connectors are fully inside the power ports. This new cable features a 12-pin power connector on both sides where the part that actually goes inside the PSU and GPU is colored yellow. So essentially, if a user plugs the connector, he has to make sure that the yellow part is completely inside and only the black part of the connector is visible. As demonstrated, this connector can get locked even when a little yellow part is visible from the outside. But with the color distinction, users can know if they have secured their connectors properly or not. As per the report, this new power cable can be used with any MSI, PSU or graphics card, but I am not 100% sure if this cable will be compatible with non-MSI products, which I think it should. Nonetheless, it took a very simple solution to fix this problem, which didn't even cross Nvidia's mind. Also, I still believe that not every user who got his connector burnt had their connectors loose because many users have already reported before that they checked the connection several times and their connectors only melted after several months of regular use. And finally, we have Nvidia launching the Ultra Low Motion Blur 2 feature for high-end gaming displays. According to the press release, this is the second upgrade to the original Ultra Low Motion Blur technology which the company launched 8 years ago. The ULMB2 is now being offered as a free upgrade to some 1440p monitors that boast 360Hz refresh rate and G-Sync technology. As demonstrated by the company, the ULMB2 can now provide over 1000Hz of effective motion clarity for competitive gamers. What it does is that, unlike the traditional way of how a high refresh rate monitor displays moving objects, the ULMB2 can eliminate the motion blur substantially. In order to achieve this level of clarity, the ULMB2 provides a full refresh rate backlight strobing, unlike the previous version that had to cut off 75% of the backlight and also had to reduce the refresh rate to give the pixels more time to transition. With ULMB2, the backlight is only turned on when each pixel is at its correct color value, which helps eliminate the extra pixels that have a distorted color due to motion. With this, the monitors that feature a 360Hz refresh rate can achieve an effective motion clarity of a 1440Hz display. This clearly helps users distinguish between gameplay where a lower refresh rate monitor with ULMB2 is more effective in reducing the blur compared to a display that features four times higher refresh rate without ULMB. Currently, monitors with only 360Hz refresh rate will support this technology and as of now, there are only four monitors that can take benefit from ULMB2 but in the future, we are going to see support for this feature extend to more displays.
At least for now, Nvidia is doing a good job in different areas other than the gaming graphics cards. And in this video, you will see how Nvidia RTX Remix is changing the games to feature more realistic lighting than ever. Lastly, don't forget to hit the like button if you found the video informative and subscribe if you want to stay updated with the latest hardware updates. Make sure to turn on the notifications to never miss any uploads to the channel and I will see you in the next one.